the interesting thing about what's happening right now in free agency is everyone is worried about who we're going to sign and throwing out all these big names and big contract guys. And has anyone thought about checking on the money? So I missed something and I apologize because I missed something uh, months ago when I said that the Lions, you know, they were going to have about 70 million in cap space and less than a million in dead cap, you know, coming from a team that in 2021 had an, a massive amount uh, of dead cap. And let me get that number for you right now. So in 2021, the Detroit Lions had $67 million in dead cap. $67 million. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. So the Lions have always been bootstrapped because we just haven't had the funds, you know, uh, always shopping in free agency, overspending on, on, you know, what we're supposed to be big name players. I, I guess I don't think that Trey Flowers was really a big name player for me. I mean, he, he did have a few good years, but the Lions were overspending for years. Okay. And it caused a lot of problems. And that's why a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, Dan Campbell is not going to work. We just won three games, but nobody looked at the money and were understood that they, they were just completely strapped with everything and they couldn't, you know, they couldn't do anything about it. And then in 2022, Brad Holmes and, and the financial team did a much better job. 34, basically 35 million in dead cap. So, you know, they, they were able to get rid of almost $30 million. Well, this year, back in, you know, October, November, it was a million dollars was our dead cap number. But after the restructures and the void years that went into a few players' contracts, that number just went up big time. And that's why the Lions don't have near as much in cap space this season. I mean, there's a huge difference between 70 million and 45 million. Huge. I mean, that's that's your best player in free agency, right? 70 to 45 million dollars. 25 million is your best player. Matter of fact, you could probably squeeze in two as long as you use more void years, right? And that's that's what we're talking about today is get ready, uh, as the article says, for more void years. And and here's what it said. It says it's it's still too early to know which players, you know, the Lions are going to be chasing in free agency. Um, but they say it's pretty safe that, you know, some of the free agent signings and also some of the contract extensions that will be coming up here shortly. And, and by the way, I went back yesterday and looked at when do all the extensions typically happen. And it's the end of February and all of March. So March is going to be a hot month, I think, for the Lions, unless they decide to wait until after the draft. Uh, and I guess that's another conversation, but I guess there's like four or five different reasons why you would wait or do it before uh, or wait, you know, through the summer. And, and I'll do that in another video. But anyway, um, so it talks about the automatic void year, how it's a tool that Mike Disner and Brad Holmes uh, have been using quite often managing this line salary cap. And they've done a wonderful job getting us to this point. And the void years are spread out so that the cap hit, you know, of any new contract, um, it intentionally will amortize the value over a longer period of time. Uh, in other words, in layman's terms, it's going to stretch it, you know, further over more years, right? Instead of taking 10 and dividing it by, uh, you know, two, you take 10 and divide it by four or three or whatever, and you stretch it out. So by doing that, though, you, you're able to bring in bigger name players, bigger contracts, spread it out, knowing at some point you're going to have to pay the piper. So my guess would be, there's a percentage allocated to dead cap and void year dead cap that they play with whatever that number is. And they don't want to exceed that number in any given year. So it goes on to say that the lines have been very good about avoiding, you know, the unintentional dead cap money, which that's the difference with this team is the unintentional dead cap money. Like we don't have bad contracts. We haven't in three years, not at all. Um, so the void years are a little bit different. They're intentional dead cap versus unintentional bad contract. But let's look at these players that have affected this dead cap this year and where our dead cap now resides. So Halapaluti Vitae, 3.84 million. And if you guys remember last season, it was the renegotiation on this contract that allowed that to happen. Uh, Romeo Quora, same thing. Renegotiation on his contract, 3.5 million in dead cap. CJ Gardner was a void year, 2 million. Graham Glasgow, 1.47. Emmanuel Mosley, a million. And Teddy Bridgewater, 500K. So... In total, 12.3 million. Big jump from a million. I, I, I guess, I don't know why I didn't look at the potential dead cap and the void years in all of the contracts. And now I've learned something that the number that Spotrack or over the cap is saying 
is the dead cap number for 2024 is wrong. That's why, I mean, I love those sites, but just there's some things in there that aren't very accurate. I'm going to have to go in and look now at every contract and how much dead money's in there in void years uh, to really get an idea of 2025 and what we're looking at in 2025. So a total of 20, uh, I'm sorry, total of 12.3 million just from these contracts sacrificed to void years. Uh, it's an emerging trend, as they say, that the Lions are, are one of the, the forefront leaders um, and that it isn't expected to change utilizing void years. So they, they give a, an example here and they say, if you want to sign the free agent cornerback, uh, a woozy, it's a hypothetical target. PFF lists a woozy as an estimated free agent value of 21 million over two years, 12.75 million. Uh, 60% guaranteed, and that seems like a reasonable ballpark figure, right? Well, adding a void year into that deal, now you take that 12 or that 21 million, you spread it out over three years versus two, which now you're taking 21 and it's now 7 million per year on average. I mean, they can structure it any way they want, but that's 7 million per year versus, you know, 12.5 or 12.75, whatever the number is. So you're freeing up 5 million in cap space that you can then go back and bring back a CJ Gardner or whomever, right? Uh, a Graham Glasgow, you know, you've freed up that $5 million. You will pay for it, right? By year two or three, you're going to pay for it and whatever, you know, the however the contract's written. Um, but look, we got to expect the Lions to keep utilizing it and for Brad Holmes and, and Mike Disner and the financial team over in Allen Park to keep doing what they're doing. They're doing a great job, but we just lost a bunch of cap space because of the dead cap. So right now, uh, let me look and see what, what Spotrack is saying for dead cap. Let's see if it changed. So dead cap in, it still says 1.4. So I guess shame on them. And I apologize for not digging deeper. Uh, but right now we only have 48 million in available cap space. Again, per slow track, that number is going to change. I guarantee it. Um, but look, if you add that 12 million to that 1.4, you're looking at about 14 million in dead cap. You add 14 million to 48 million. It's 52 million or $62 million. It's a big difference, big difference. So all right, that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. Lions lost a bunch of money to dead cap and void years, but it's okay. Uh, I think we're still going to do great things this offseason. Free agency uh, really starts to pick up here soon. Uh, and we've got the combine here. End of the month, uh, I'll be down there in Indianapolis. I think it's the last year they're going to be doing the combine in Indianapolis. So I'll be down there. If you guys are going to be there, hit me up. You know how to get a hold of me. You can email me. You can call the show number uh, during business hours. And uh, let's do a meetup, grab lunch, do something. All right, y'all. Go on pride. Go Detroit Lions. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.